with the A's baseball franchise all but set to move to Las Vegas pending MLB owner's approval, what will become of the Oakland Coliseum? Known as baseball's last dive bar, the Coliseum is the last multi-purpose stadium that was used for football and baseball until the Raiders left for Vegas after the 2019 season. It has a rich history and has been a significant venue for sports and entertainment events since its opening way back in 1966. The city of Oakland was in the shadows of world-renowned San Francisco across the bay and the city's leaders knew that having professional sports teams was a way of putting the city on the national map. So came the idea of constructing a sports complex with an arena and stadium to potentially lure pro sports teams to the city. Construction of the Oakland Coliseum began in 1962, and it was designed to be a football and baseball stadium and the adjacent arena was designed to be a basketball and hockey venue that later attracted the NBA's Warriors and NHL's Golden Seals both from neighboring San Francisco. The entire sports complex was built on the site of a former landfill and cost around $25 million to complete, a major bargain even in today's dollars. In this video, I'll focus more on the history of the stadium and its significance as a sports and entertainment venue. After its opening, the Coliseum became the permanent home of the Oakland Raiders in 1966 and then attracted the A's MLB franchise from Kansas City in 1968. It was built to look similar to Dodger Stadium with three decks and bleacher seats and views of the beautiful hills in the outfield. The Oakland Coliseum has hosted many memorable Raiders and A's games including the postseason, World Series, and MLB All-Star Game. In addition to sports, the Oakland Coliseum has also been used for other events such as concerts by famous artists including the Rolling Stones, and Marvin Gaye along with other events such as Monster Jam and soccer matches. In 1995, the stadium underwent a major renovation to add more seating and luxury suites to accommodate Raiders owner, Al Davis, moving his team back from Los Angeles after a 13-year hiatus, due to the city's failure to meet his demands which led to the relocation of the team to Los Angeles in 1982. Now known as Mount Davis, it replaced the outfield bleacher seats and blocks the view of the Oakland Hills that made the stadium special. Little did they know at the time that this would doom the future of the Raiders and the A's in the city of Oakland due to sheer cost to the taxpayers and city that it would be a major stumbling block in the city's ability to finance any future private public stadium projects for both of these teams. Al's son, Mark Davis, took control of the team when his father passed away and announced the Raiders move to Las Vegas in 2017 when he got a super sweet stadium deal with primarily public funding and support from a major financial backer. The 2019 NFL season marked the last season in Oakland for the Raiders and it was a sad end for generations of loyal Raiders fans in the city that bled silver and black through thick and thin. The Oakland Athletics for several decades under the ownership of John Fisher, have looked to build a new ballpark in the city and surrounding areas such as Fremont and San Jose. A push for a stadium deal in Fremont got major opposition from the locals and the plan was scrapped in 2009. In San Jose, the land and private funding were there, Except the problem was that the San Francisco Giants, which own the territorial rights, rejected the A's plan to move there with the backing of a court ruling in their favor in 2015. Quick side note, the A's originally had the territorial rights in San Jose and as a gesture of goodwill, then team owner, Walter Haas, gave away the rights to the Giants when they were looking to build a new stadium in the early 90s. Plans to build a privately financed stadium in downtown Oakland at Laney College were shockingly denied by the school's Board of Trustees in 2017 and a proposed waterfront ballpark at Howard Terminal faced many hurdles and the process was taking way too long for the A's and Major League Baseball. The most convenient and fastest route would have been to build on the current Coliseum site which is 50% owned by the team when they purchased the site from the county in 2019. Now, with the hopes of the A's somehow staying in Oakland clinging to a shoestring, what will become of the Oakland Coliseum? A major African-American-led group based in Oakland announced an agreement with the city to potentially redevelop the entire complex into a huge sports and entertainment center that will create 20 to 30,000 new jobs for an underserved area in Oakland and hopefully be home to a future pro sports team again.